of the the bride and the partner. I don't know if it was already on the scene. Hello, detectives. We arrived at the park at 7.15 a.m. Park worker discovered the girl 10 minutes earlier. It's a corpse in a wedding dress. Documents, phone, money, or jewelry. Hmm. Has the preliminary examination revealed anything important? We estimate the time of death between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. The victim has a temple wound and a bruise and graze on his left cheekbone. Nothing on her. It looks like a robbery gone wrong. I'm trying to identify her. I might already know. Natalie Lloyd. She's a supermodel. I've seen her name all over the internet. Yeah, she recently blurted out something uh, controversial about a fashion designer. A model? Sean, see if you can find anything on Lori in the database. We'll examine the crime scene. Consider it done. Okay, we still need to rope off the crime scene. There are some police take around here somewhere. Find items from the list in the scene. Okay. Yeah. There's a flashlight. Baseball bag, flower bouquet, a helmet, okay. evidence marker, what mace? It's kind of hard to see. Now that I know that's an evidence mark. <laughs> huh? Wait, the test or shown on the left, complete them to make progress. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. So zoom button to zoom in on the scene. This makes it easier. The zoom and to return. Awesome. Detector. Remember that the clock is always ticking in our line of work. Now you need to find all the items from the list before the time runs out. Murder victim. Backpack. And you got the dog. Clutch bag. And the ladder. Okay. Awesome. What are we gonna do with this money? Okay. Judging by the tag, I would say this isn't a real wedding dress. 
Natalie could have been on here her way to a party. We need to find out what social events were taking place around here last night. Good call. Alright. Who done killed my sis? So far it all looks like a bus strawberry. Whoa. Look, there's a snack lying next to the victim and there's a bottle for mints underneath. It's probably our murder weapon. Let's take it to I'm guessing that's to taking it to the lab. Fight items by the shape within the time limit. Say what? Oh, okay, so we're just... What the hell's screaming like that? Oh, here it is. There we go. I think that's it. We've collected the evidence. Let's see what our lead... Okay, expert one. Awesome. Hello, detectives. Is this a murder weapon? I'm not sure it matches the wounds. Oh. Well, there could have been a fight in the park. Our victim could be collateral damage. I'll check it. It could be a piece of evidence. How's the investigation going? Have you confirmed the victim's identity? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, Natalie Laurie. She's from Kansas. She has a clean record, nothing more than a couple parking signs. She was working as a model. We've already reached out to her agency. We also found out she was running an apartment above the Irish pub near our station. Chili McShard is the pub owner and Laurie's landlord. All right. Head over there. Mm -hmm. Alright. Have you played this game before? If you've played before on another device, you have G5 Friends account. Skip this. Yeah, I've never played this before. Skip this. Alright. Where are we going? Oh, the Irish pub, there it is. It's... Alright, what we got here? Barrel, teapot, coffee, snack. Okay, beer mug. That looks like a towel, no. I guess not. Maybe this is a towel. Okay. Here's a teapot. Oh, 
baseball ball. What's this? No, not this one. There we go. There's a barrel. Fries. Um. I feel like I can't see. Let me. The fries are right in front of my face. Um. Camera. Oh, there it is. Whatever that is, I don't know what that is. Peanut? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I might have to use a hint on this because I don't even know what that is. Time is running out. Oh no. Oh, continue. Well, either I'm just. Oh, three seconds to spare. They could have just said um, a banner or something. I don't know. I guess that's a certain word for it. Okay. What do we got next? She's still at the pub. Let's go back to the pub. Alright. Now that we know what that one thing is, baseball bat, t-shirt, t-shirt bro, oh there it is, pile of papers, let's see, what about my hat, bucket, beer mug, That. Ooh. Pile of papers. Oh, well, that would be this. Do you know Natalie Lloyd? Yes. She and Ray Church are renting an apartment. Ray's my cousin's son. He's an extreme soccer. But more of a slapper than anything. Huh. Big day. Uh, when did you see them last? Maybe yesterday morning. I don't think so. But I'm hoping this means they're out and about somewhere. Every time I see them, I regret renting to them. Wow. You have Natalie's and Ray's phone numbers. Sure. Feel free to write them down. Why? What happened? Well, she's dead. You Natalie know the issue. Lori was murdered in a park close to your pub last night. Where did you get those cuts on your hands? Uh oh. That's horrible. But uh, my hands, right? They're fine. 
I just cut them on a loose nail when I was carrying some crates. I don't think it's him. Honestly. Is that it? Thank you for your time, Mr. Man. And for the game. Not many people can beat. Oh. Sent us information on Ray Church. He plays sports and has a clear criminal record. Sent us his and Natalie's phone number, but neither can be reached right now. Show me. Back to the back to the pub. picture now. Well, thank you, because I'm more of a seer. Where'd that birdcage go? And then I switched a little bit of our Waters the cage. Black pipes. Is that that? No. Oh, it didn't look like it. Okay, I just need to They have moved it to. I might be just stupid. Oh, here it is. <laughs> they hit that one. I'll tell you that. Awesome. He plays sports. Show me. Okay. Mm. Ray called Natalie five times between 10:30 and 11 p.m. Now he called someone else too, but they didn't pick up until calling back 15 minutes later. Natalie's records seem usual. She called Ray, the agency, and her parents. Nothing after 7:30 p.m. She could have called his girlfriend for any reason. Maybe she missed a date? Or he just wanted to say hi. We should take a note of the times he called. Right. Let me write that note down. Who knows? Maybe these calls are a lead. Investigate the journal. Okay. And better notes, we have the easier it be later to write our report. So what's next on the list? You can see your goal in the journal, try it. stuff they just don't move so it's like really easy suitcase
Come on. It feels great to win the game of pool. Show me. What are we talking about? Hey, this is glowing. Yes. Talk to him. Okay, show me. Okay, I got you. Mr. McChuck, did you forget to tell us something? Yeah, you're grabbing Ray Church by the chest in this photo. Huh? The time and date here suggests this photo was taken shortly before Natalie's death. It doesn't look like a friendly conversation. You said you hadn't seen either of them since that morning. I'm overloaded with work here. So what if I forgot some little detail? That's not a little detail. Now why were you fighting with Ray Church? Mm -hmm. It wasn't a big deal. He owes me half a year's worth of rent, so we had a little skirt. Half a year? I'm surprised he's still living there. Said some rude things, so I uh, gave him a bit of a shake. In a loving kind of way. In a loving kind of way. Hmm. If he wasn't paying his rent, why didn't you evict him? Mm. Ray is back. Him paying rent was more of a formality. It's just my patience has its limits too, you know. Thank you, Mr. McChug. Please let us know if Ray shows up. Okay, I had a conversation. He forgot to tell us. Either that or he lied. Mm hmm. Follow up records. We spoke. I was probably just stating. Okay. Collections. Okay. You may have won this game, but I'm a winner too. I just got some ideas. How our clues might be related. Turns out playing oh, is a good way to gather your thoughts. Okay. Awesome. Write the ideas in your report to the captain, but you better keep practicing it. If you ever want to beat me. There we go. Ready to assemble by case. Okay. Notes. Additional. Okay. I bet you, Sean, could give you some lessons. He's real proud. He has a mini pool rack on his desk. Going next. Let's back to the lab. Opsology results. Oh, that's what the money's for. I don't like the same. I'm very new to this and I've never played on it. Okay, congratulations, you unlocked the lab. Oh, awesome. I forgot. The lab is private kingdom where you're not allowed to touch. Or breathe on anything. Fair enough. Especially if it's like evidence. Hmm. The cause of death was trauma from the from blunt object striking the head from behind. The person who hit her was approximately six foot one tall, maybe a little shorter. Physically strong. There were also wood fragments in the wound. So, you got all, you, you know the height just by that? That's crazy. Crazy about technology now. Okay. 
Okay, you can fall. Oh, we gotta switch to the wall. Switch to the wall. <clears throat> Alright, what do we got? Ooh, look a brain. Okay, crime scene photos, a donut. Why do we need a donut? It's beyond me, but hey. Oh, time is rolling now. Okay, hold on. There's the gun. Microscope. Evidence bag. Right next to the chip bag. Poster. Police tape. I think I just hold on. I just saw that as evidence. Surgical saw. <coughs> Potato chips. Police bag. Hey, what you doing back here? Mm, pinwheel. Plunger. Oh, there's a plunger. Trash can. People's gonna stop walking outside that window now. Oh, there's the pinwheel. And then a target. Thought I just saw them. talking about out there target 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 they got a whole store <laughs> okay um Probably just slow. Let me zoom in and make sure I ain't missing nothing. Oh god, time is running out. That's it for me, boys. It's not a target. It's not. was a target. Bitch, I was looking for it. Something completely different. Okay. likely made of wood, with a hematoma on the left cheekbone being caused by a blow just before or during death. No signs of struggle. Time of death, between 11.30 and midnight. Is there any evidence to suggest the body was moved? Not yet. These types of injuries usually aren't accompanied by heavy boots. The broken bodily you sent me has no relation to the he had already been there for several days. <clears throat> Thanks, Will. We've also received information from the agency. Natalie's contract was terminated for undisclosed reasons. The last photo shoot was just before the murder. She was supposed to be at a presentation soon after. The body took place not far from the studio. It explains why she was wearing such a luxurious dress in the pocket man. On, on one hand, it's just that it was a manslaughter. On the other hand, her boyfriend is missing and her landlord lied to us. 
officers say they have something something for us. Let's go back to the park. Found a bike tire tracks not far from the function. Someone braked hard. Perhaps someone who witnessed the assault. Let's take photos. And Miss Fox, what are you doing here? Miss Fox. Whoever she be. Did you see something, girl? Let us know. Let us know if you see something. Letters, the letters and the item name are mixed up. So, okay. Let me go. Oh, that's a crowbar. That's a doll. Mm. Yeah, they ain't making this easy. Paper cup. Not a dummy sitting on. Skateboard. UV light. Okay. Tape recorder. Okay, that's done. I think I'm dyslexic. Oh. Max. Alright, what do we got? They have no bike tracks, not the front function. Oh, no, sure. Girl, what you doing down here? Detective. You're curious why I'm here. A horrible tragedy befell me. My good friend Natalie Lorby was murdered. <laughs> good friend? Mm. Sure, whatever you say, Miss Fox. Now please, if you have anything on Natalie or her boyfriend Ray, please tell us. We don't mind working together with you again. I promise this will benefit us a lot. So, Natalie was a talented girl with great prospects, but she grew vain. She only had to apologize to the fashion guru to end the scandal, but she was too full of herself. I mean, a scandal can make you big. But Natalie wasn't the brightest girl out there. That's how she got blacklisted by all the top agencies. Oh. Was in a lot of debt. Her boyfriend was a penniless loser. Because of his arrogance, he missed the chance to sign a high-paying contract with Monster's Bike. Wow. When did you last see Natalie? Yesterday evening, I came to pick her up from the studio at 10 p.m. so we could walk to the party together. Instead, she chose to stay with that strange Douglas guy. He's just another failure in the world of fashion. He said he was going to make special photos for her portfolio maybe she wanted to apply for something more serious <laughs> she even said that everything would work out for her soon oh i gotta go here's my email address be sure to send me some hot news okay are you done with miss fox let us return to the witness let's release a press statement information fun okay. our gosh check the unknown number listed in the phone records apparently Lee and Ray were talking before he went missing also 
Was that Lee's business card I saw? Hoopop, it had a cannon print on it. Okay, the bucket, suitcase, the cage, all the papers, baseball bat, no that's not it, they love moving that bed, I can't stand it, okay, baseball bat, bagpipes, Fake beer. I just took a hunch, but you yeah, know, okay. I didn't even look at the beer. Okay. Get the car over. Say I said, the guys checked out on that number and listed. Okay. Got the business card. Talk to his ass. Bring him Thank in. you, Mr. Douglas, for agreeing to speak with us. This is about the murder that took place in the park. Did you know the victim? Natalie Laurie? Natalie's dead? Eric, sorry to hear that. We worked together he? several times. He looks sketchy. Mr. Douglas? When did you last see Natalie? Yesterday, during a photo shoot. We ended about 10 p.m. Everyone else left for the party. Uh, I gathered some equipment and went to Chili's Pub. Is that all? I have a witness who claims you stayed behind with Natalie to take some special photos of her. Mm -hmm. Nonsense. Natalie stayed to change for the party. I, I was just gathering my equipment. Sure. Sounds convenient. No one can confirm what you actually did. By the way, why'd you call a boyfriend? Ray called me. I just called back. He was looking for Natalie, so I told him she was at the presentation. Hmm. Though this was the last to see Natalie. Um, no alibi, and he may be lying, hiding that he stayed with her intentionally. And there are cuts on his hands. Why does everybody have cuts on their hands? Well, then go to the studio and interview witnesses. I'll check church in that Natalie's apartment. Meet me at... Okay. Maybe it's worth looking him up in a dating place. And we can cross-reference the suspects with the machine features of the killer that'll help rule out who who's innocent. Okay. The famous Marvelous Okay, suspects. Nelly's career was everyone was her gone track when she lost her gone track. She was in debt and she was murdered the last day of her burn. That's it. You know what? She hired herself to get killed. So just to get out of debt. Case closed. So there was a witness to the crime. Okay, Leah denied staying at the studio with Natalie, but 
did say he was working with her all day. Douglas's alibi is weak and he called Natalie's boyfriend the night before the murder. Another thing he denied. Show me. Okay, back to the lab. Okay, pinwheel. Oops. Cool. Well. Everything in Natalie and Ray's apartment looks like they only left for a short while. Now, Ray could have snuck out, though, leaving the debt to Natalie. I gathered a couple hairbrushes for DNA analysis. The, uh, the laptop may have some valuable information, too. There's a copy of Natalie's certificate of insurance in the laptop. She insured a face for one million dollars. Wow. What? <laughs> so if anything happened to her precious face, she would receive a small fortune. Oh, Natalie's agency paid the fee, so if the contract was terminated, this certificate will become void. Serena, look at this. The policy lists two beneficiaries, Natalie and Ray. Uh-oh. Uh. certainly interesting. Yeah. The laptop revealed one million dollars with the insurance price. Let's see. Somebody hit it a little too hard, huh? Which could be a serious murder. There are also some password protected photos here. Let's have. Oh, hack. Okay, he's gonna hack it too. He does it all, doesn't he? What's this? Guess we don't need it. There are also some password. Okay. We gotta talk to him. You brought me a new toy. Here. Give me 30 seconds and I'll have access to every folder on this laptop. And voila. Thank you, Sam. 
Lamont, there's incriminating evidence against Miss Chug. Documents they used to smuggle alcohol. Hmm. Looks like our modest pub owner has serious connections with the underground mine. Our lovely couple decided to use this to blackmail Miss Chug. Didn't matter to them in this family. So the pub owner had motive. Does this mean we're looking for Ray's body too? Maybe. We got a lot to you. We've even gotten you this mug with the best friends expert printed on it. Aw. <laughs> What's in the collections? Let's see. Never against being flattered. It might come in handy with some of my experiments. Oh, okay. Detectives, these incriminating documents and photos are just copies. Someone else has the originals. According to the database, McChug was never accused of smuggling, but the FBI have had their eye on him. Thanks, Shane. Finding the originals is only a matter of time. I suggest we use this evidence as leverage over McChug. In case he refuses to talk. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Over here. Why play alone when you can? Oh wow! Thought it was something important. Let's interrogate Chili McChug about the evidence we found. Expect, except, where did he go? Look, those crates are the ones mentioned in the documents. The company name is the same. Chili isn't entirely clean after all. They finally moved the beans. They moved them to oh, behind us. this? Hello, this is Ivy Fox. Words have reached me that a stranger, a strange rumor is circling around Manhattan. I'm sure if you look into it, it'll, it'll be to your benefit. Alright, show me. Is there any truth to rumor? Let's find out. tell you a secret. This isn't the only rumor in the city. Pay attention to the map. Oh, 
Okay. A lot of hot air balloons. This man. Okay, okay, okay. Texas, I found the chug. He's at the food truck festival in the park. See him? Right over there. Okay. Mr. McChug, would you step aside for a moment? We have a few questions we'd like to ask. Do these files seem familiar to you? Don't try denying anything. The FBI are very interested in that case. Was Ray he was, but I didn't kill anyone. Ray found the phone. I thought he would stop the silly game after a short while, but he never did. I threatened him, but I swear, that's it. He seemed to come to his senses after that, anyway. Besides, I have an alibi. Over a dozen customers can confirm I was at the pub. I'm willing to cooperate, but don't expect me to confess to a murder, so your clearance rates for work. Your alibi is dubious at best. The park is only minutes from the pub. No one may have noticed your absence if you had left. For now, we ask you to stay in the city. Where was blackmailing me? So I put him in his place. That's all. If you don't have any solid evidence against me, I insist you leave. You're scaring away the customers. We have two suspects, each with, each with a weak alibi. Still, one million dollars is a lot. If Ray is willing to blackmail his family, maybe he's willing to murder his girlfriend. Lex is in the park and those bike tracks. And one more time. Okay. Newspapers. Mm. Well, extreme letters. Ray is a member of the club. Looks like he was here after all. Let's file a worry with the insurance company. If Ray killed Natalie and crashed the policy and cashed the policy, he may already be on a plane in Hawaii. Let's see. Okay. Might be, might be. There are two fingerprints on the, um, one belongs to Ray and the other is unknown. There's no match for the other in the d database. 
Shall we go for a walk, detectives? I'm dying for some coffee and fresh air. This is cradle. Cradle? Hmm. Some of these I don't know what they are. Not going to lie. Oh, that's what that is? Well, now I know. What do you have for a thing? The search for the guy yielded no results. No credit card charges, no phone calls. A and that's for the dress I managed to find in eyelash, sweat, and grease deposits. I also found a few bright hairs. A test shows they belong to a male Felis Silvestrius caddis. Ah, <laughs> look at your faces. I'm talking about a cat. It was cat fur. Oh, wow. I'm guessing it wasn't on the dress by accident. It must have come from the killer's clothes. So a killer likes cats? That doesn't narrow down the suspects too much, but every detail counts. I'll let you know once I'm done extracting DNA from the eyelash, sweat, and grease deposits. Okay. The charts out. Lee and Ray called each other this repeatedly last month. Shane is in the pub right now. Since Lee's in the pub right now, I can see his camera on the counter. Mr. Douglas, we have a few questions for you. Phone records say you and Ray call each other often. Care to explain? Oh, the words are mixed up again. Okay.
<clears throat> Looks like it starts with a B. Backfires? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Da -da 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 -da. Ray, Ray got jealous of every man his girlfriend talked to. He kept harassing me with phone calls about it. I only saw him a couple times and then never called him myself. Now, I'm not saying another word without a lawyer. Mm. Okay, what do we got? Lee sure was defensive. He must be hiding something. Also, we heard back about the Lee seemed to have piled up a lot of debt. Let's get to the station. I need to access the IRS database. Okay. The heck is this? No, I don't want to buy nothing. Okay. Ship away over there. Why did I click on that? Don't we need to go back to the station? Oh, I guess we did. I thought he said he needed to go back to the station. Not the mannequin over like that. So what is it? This is not this plate of food. E. So so the E. E. I can't really.
Mm. Nothing really. Let me back up. What's that? Oh god, am I out of time? What is that? Please draw the fence up. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go back to. Let's see here. Back to the. The IRS office. data shows a photographer was in a tight spot financially. There's the court ruling. His ex wife took everything she could. She took the car, holiday house, and alimony. She even tried to take his cat. She must have had a good lawyer. Oh, wow. There we go. His cat? cat. What did he do to make her so spiteful? I don't know, but it looks like the cat was all he got to keep. She took everything else, including massive alimony. Oh my goodness. There are a lot of debtors involved with this case. They've all been keeping in close contact recently, too. They're killing... I doubt killing Natalie would have solved these financial problems. Are we missing something? There's too many... Coincidences like the cat, even if Lee killed Natalie, how would it have been a fan? Her papers have invaded my desk. It's time to clean up. The captain already ordered a new filing cabinet for you. For this. This case is the. There's just not enough space on the desk for everything. I promise to clean up as soon as we're done with the case. Okay. Is already on the case. They agreed to meet us at the park. It's not in his interest to not corroborate. He said he would be here, but it's already 2:15. He's late. I'll give him a. Participate in the new event. Uh, oh, my gosh. That's okay for now. I'll see you later. Yeah, put that to the side. Well, Get you a clutch bag, newspaper, bottles, a dog, a flashlight, cameras, gates.
Hold on, something else. I don't know what I got. The hell was that? Uh, air pump. Lamar, while you were busy fixing that toy for the umpteenth time, I put Lee on redial. He keeps declining my calls, except now his number can no longer be reached. Looks like he won't be coming to us. We'll have to. Detective. Pleasant day, isn't it? Girl, what you want? How's the investigation? Anything interesting to share? Uh, no? Well, unlike you, I've managed to learn something quite curious. Miss Fox, you seem very keen to share this information. I'm expecting something in return later, Detective. But for now, down to business. You remember the presentation that took place after the photo shoot? Well, it turns out Lee Douglas was invited as well. He just never showed up. Hmm. The most prominent people of the fashion world were gathering there. New connections, contacts, orders. It's still fantastic of an opportunity not to show up. I also learned he'd never taken any special photos of anyone else before. I hope Natalie wasn't having an affair with that loser. He's not her type at all. Well, it's almost time for my next meeting. I'll be leaving. But don't forget about our little agreement, detective. You know, lied to her friend, but why? Supposedly, and Natalie had an affair, then an impossible Ray caught them. He got jealous, murdered his girlfriend, and became fugitive. And then why didn't he hurt Lee? It doesn't add up. So we have a possible affair between Lee and Natalie, incriminating evidence against McChug, a million dollar insurance certificate, and Ray on the run. That's three suspects in total. No direct evidence, just theories. Speculating only gets you so far. You're right. We need to get... Oh, uh, hey, give me a minute. The captain's calling. Detectives, a body washed up ashore on the old bridge. A worker at the ferry phone found a Peter's already waiting at the scene for you. Is that supposed to be like an Guess we're going to the bridge. Unlock the scene. It up your skills will definitely come in handy. I've got test tubes, power tweezers, spare gloves, everything you might need ex except where did the lab case go? I guess we're going here to the bridge. Oh, 
shark the hook and that. Look at that bird. Pop air balloon. Beach umbrella. What exactly is a tripod? Okay, here we go. I've got test tubes and I'm working on Okay, let's go. I'm gonna talk to this officer. Detective, Shane, you'll have to wait a moment. Part of the body's still in the water. I'll call you when everything's ready. So what was the rush? Anyway, I'll share what I found while we wait. The sweat, grease deposits, and eyelash on the dress belong to the same person. I compared DNA samples. It's not Rachel. There's also two hematoma clusters on the body. The first cluster is in the chest. Usually, these stem from strong blows and botchy medical treatments. They could have appeared during or after death. It's hard to say. The second cluster is in the lower back. That area of the dress also has fingerprint density. The combination of sweat, grease, and hematoma clusters could only occur if the body was lifted. In the natural sitting position of the body, I would say it was carried from somewhere. Natalie wasn't murdered by the father. The crime scene was all still. There was no robbery gone wrong. Let's not cross off any suspects yet. Ray could have easily hired someone and come to the crime scene to make sure the deed was done. He could have been trying to claim the one million dollars worth of proceeds. However, the insurance agency did say the money hadn't been claimed yet. He could be waiting for the right moment. The face is the phone, but ice, it's right. Church looks of it. The guy was battered to death. The blunt object. Eddie, you could take a body away now. Oh, wow. Let's see. Take some off the suspect list. Okay. 
Oh, perfect. Left check. Okay. Ball. Save all. Loudspeaker. That's where I just saved it. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Spyglass. You'll have to wait for the DNA test results before I can confirm the identity of the victim is Ray. For now, I estimate the time of death between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. The body was thrown into the river. Judging by the nature of the injuries and strength of the blows, I'd say the killer is a man with physical strength. Yeah, and a psychopathic temperament. <laughs> it could have been a crime of passion. In any case, we can't cross Ray off the suspect list for Natalie's case until we have a more accurate time of death. Guess we'll wait for the autopsy results then. I mean, the guy could have killed his girlfriend and then gotten into a fight with someone. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Let's return to the crime scene and help examine. Two bodies, three suspects. Zero. Okay, that's not much to go on. Have the guys search under the bridge. We'll stay here and examine the place. There could be some evidence.
为什么？There are two sets of footprints in the sand. It rained last Tuesday. These tracks could be preserved from Tuesday night. Eddie, cast the prince. One set probably belongs to Red. The second one, maybe you're killed. Hey, hey, I found the murder weapon. There's blood and hair on this rod. Be careful, Tarina. There are bombs on the lower side of this thing. Look, there's blood on the handle, too. It must be the DNA of our killer. Eddie, please send the rod to the lab immediately. So the killer hurt their hands. Lamont, remember how much Chug and Douglas have similar cuts? These murders could be connected. That would mean someone killed both victims. McChug has motive and a weak alibi. Douglas disappeared, and he also has a weak alibi. The question is, why would he do it? It could be related to the insurance proceeds. Let's suppose Ray decided to murder his girlfriend. He thought he needed an accomplice, which could have been Lee. Mm -hmm. We were on the phone a lot last night. A million dollars would be enough to pay Lee's death and allow Ray to live a prosperous life. They could have planned the murder together, killed Natalie, and then... had a fight? Yes, so... Uh, it makes sense now why Lee got nervous and ran away. Let's issue an APP... APB on him right away. Guy from Ray's Extreme Bike Club usually hang out in the park. I'll try taking, talking to them. Okay. Back to the park. Come on, back to the park. Find a pair of items within the time limit. Wooden crates. Oh, you have to find. I'm confuzzled. They upping it on us. Oh, there. Okay, so that and that. It's like a real adventure novel. There's a part about us, too. However, it won't be long before the mystery is solved. After all, we have Manhattan's best detectives working on the case. Is this free publicity? 
What do we owe her? Our souls. <laughs> Detectives, we have information on Ray Church. His fellow club members were practicing in the park. I managed to ask them a few questions. Looks like Ray wasn't overly liked in the club. He always insisted he was better than them. He claimed he had an amazing future in store. That's hardly surprising. Did you learn anything else? Ray had a friend, Lucas Delgado. Apparently he's ill-tempered as well. The thing is, Ray stole Natalie from Lucas a year and a half ago. How did Lucas react to that? Four parts of friendship. Apparently they were always bickering and getting into fights after that. Stole his girlfriend. Let's learn more about jealousy is a serious motive. Sean Asher inform informer about him. We'll check the database. The data the database? The database. Okay, let's see. Here, great job, detective. Little residents to build. Your first reward is waiting in, build in this building. Okay. Thought she was gonna talk. Good morning, detectives. As you've probably heard, our department is investigating the case of the shooting. Of course, boss. Something like that doesn't happen here often. The kid wasn't even 18, as far as I know. It was already pr proved that it was a suicide and the case would be closing soon. They personally asked us not to hurry to close the case. Try to find out the reason for the suicide and where the, the kid got the gun. Use. Pay attention. The pistol was unique. It had engraved in it. Okay, got it boss. Anything else? We have a criminal who made a deal with the court. He's called Richard he is to be the owner of the gun store, but now he's unemployed and living off the state. He had connections to the black market weapons dealers, so he could come to in handy. Interesting character. We'll have to We'll have to talk to him. Oh yeah, and we found part of the torn suicide note. Forgive me, my father should be ashamed of. Maybe you can find the other half. Okay. Ooh, shit. Life has not been good to you, sir. How's life, detective? I should be asking you that. My name's Rick. They probably told you. <laughs> Rick has heard a rumor that you're looking for some weapons weapons dealers. If you have any information, speak up. If not, don't waste our time. Summer down, Chief. Rick shows all local dealers and what they sell. What are you looking for exactly? Do you know anyone that could have sold the Desert Eagle with the runes engraved on the grip? Whoa, sounds like a hot piece. Drizzle hangs out of a function in the central park. <laughs> don't don't know how things stand now, but he used to have something like that. Drizzle from the park. That's his name. You're a real Sherlock. <laughs> but he can smell a cop a mile away, and even if you catch him, he won't say a word. Go on, Rick. Right? Rick's already said all there is to say. Drizzle usually wears a white t-shirt and carries a string of beads to identify him. Uh, well, that's not much to go on, but it should be enough. We need to catch Drizzle red-handed and make him talk. We'll put a hidden camera in the park, watch his every move, and catch him in the act. What's the problem? Park is huge. We need 
to film him from height, but if we use drones, Drizzle could suspect something off and cancel the deal. I have an idea. We'll use kites with cameras attached inside the drones. That, that way we can film from the height and nobody will know. Okay. How did we get on to this other case? What's going on? Yeah, a completely interesting task outside the main investigation. Something is useful. Take your mind off things. What was this? Did I click on Okay, no. Okay, we got the charge of the matter. Find out why John killed himself. There are next to no leads except for the Desert Eagle pistol engraved on the handle. Maybe we'll find something that. Okay, back to the drain. Back to the drain. Oh, here we go. Why take along the uh, sick person on that assignment? Can we handle it ourselves, Lamont? I can trade five scoops of ice cream for half a day with a kite all, all on my end. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's another. Our second body is Ray Church. Cause of death, fatal injuries, time of death, Tuesday night around midnight. No signs of struggle. Maybe Ray knew the killer and wasn't expecting a name. The attack. Okay. Oh, these are jibble jumbled. Okay. 
This is not uh, what it's usually at. Uh, I don't. Where else would it be? I don't even know. Okay. It seems the color did this on impulse. It could have been rage or depression, a true crime of passion. So just because wanted for a felony. Detectives we saw while on duty in the park, he was skateboarding. We were trying to detain him, but he vanished. Guilty. Just get to the rooms, rooms. Okay, two pairs of skates. The fuck is that? Shut that bird up. Fast food box. There's one there. A nimble but careless guy. He was in such a hurry he dropped his library card. With this track record, I'm not surprised he doesn't want to talk to us. Multiple arrests. Shady content. Okay. We gotta find him. Who's this? I finalized the test results, detective. Looks like you, you owe me again. Okay, well, what's up? Who could it possibly be? A trash can. The hell is that supposed to be?
falls, right? Mm. Or maybe it's this. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And then. Whatever this is. Like an earring, I don't know. Okay, let's see. I'll start with the footprint. One set belongs to Ray, the other, I'm less sure. It does belong to a model of cowboy boots released five years ago, size 11. As for the murder weapon, Ray was killed with the metal rod you found. The DNA of the killer was preserved on the handle. More interesting than that, the DNA on the rod matches the eyelash, sweat, and grease I found on Natalie's dress. Okay. So, Natalie and Ray were killed by the same person, which means Ray didn't murder his girlfriend. That doesn't mean yeah. he was part of a shady insurance scheme. They could have both been murdered for different reasons, too. At least now we can check to see if Douglas, McChug, or Delgado were guilty. We just need a sample of the DNA. Yeah. Is right, we need a warrant to learn who the killer is, whose DNA should we process first. So, okay. See, they move some stuff around. There's a dog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's this? Something I don't need, I guess. This is a CD. <laughs> so, try to see. It's a dog bone. Dice. Yeah, that's that. Oh, 
what is it? Oh, oh, okay. Devil. We're here. Hello, Mr. McChuck. Hope you're not here to barrage me with crazy, unproven here. Hopefully you'll show some sense. Our entire family is immortal. We may not have been the nicest bloke out there, but he was still found. Our condolences, Mr. McChuck. We just came to say hi. We won't keep you. So two things came out of that. First, McChug was wearing those cowboy boots Shang identified. Second, he just threw away an empty water bottle in the trash. We can use it for a DNA match. Can I think? <laughs> Let's take it and see if he's been hiding something. Mm -hmm. Divers found a bag of jewelry in the river. It looks like it's related to the case. Jewelry? Okay, let's see. Let's see, they moved the whale. Just admit, you don't want to go to Lee's apartment. You can't get over having to wait for three hours under the bridge, can you? What have you got for us, Eddie? Well, here's the bag. It's full of pieces of jewelry that match what Natalie was wearing before she was murdered. At least according to witnesses. There are also some brass knuckles. Lamont, do you remember the bruises and grazes on Natalie's left cheekbone? This could have come from these. So I ripped her up like that? That's fucked up. We'll have the knuckles analyzed. There are initials engraved on them, too. R. C. But they belong to Ray? Well, I wouldn't be surprised. How did the knuckles appear in the same bag as Natalie's jewelry, though? Mm-hmm. Either Ray potentially gave the brass knuckles to the killer voluntarily, which supports the accomplice theory, yeah. or the killer stole the knuckles to set Ray. 
Look like a dirty mattress, empty closets, and bare walls. Don't classify as decor. By the looks of it, he went on a limb, uh, took his things with. This case might be useful to. What is it? Seems like I probably need to get my cases in order. What the hell is that? Going to noise. I'm just going to follow the word. Oh, it's back there. Okay. Cool. Alright, alright. Empty closets, spare walls, don't classify as decor. Yep, we got decor. Okay. We got. People usually keep cameras inside cases like these. Looks like Lee Douglas was in a real hurry. The lenses and flashes he left behind are worth a fortune. He made sure to take the camera itself, though. The man needs some source of income. It's good he left the lenses behind. They would definitely have some fingerprints on them. Maybe even some sweat or grease. We'll take it all to Shank. Another item for you to analyze. We found the camera case in his apartment. It might have DNA on it. It will be a while before our analysis is done. There's also a folder containing a photo of Lee wearing the same cowboy. One on the left to make sure. Okay.
gonna slow down here. Oh, okay, there's oxygen tank. Surgical sauna. Catheter. What's that look like? This? Okay. Okay, what we got? There they are. You're right, Shen. They fit the description. And based on the case materials, the photographer wears size 11 shoes. So Lee was the last person to see Natalie, and he was at the crime scene where Ray was murdered. He's aggressive, and he's tall and strong enough to carry a body. He also had cuts on his hands, is on the run, and wears the same size shoes as Octilla. He checks all the boxes, all right. Are you Luca? Our detectives would like to speak with you at the station. Oh, that's the that's the thing. That's the thing. That cash. Left.
just had a couple questions. Hmm. Where did you get those cuts on your hands? Why does everybody have cuts on their hands? What is happening? These recently... But I don't remember where. It makes certain tricks harder, but it's no biggie. How close were you to Ray Church? Close enough to want to punch him in the face? A scumbag stole my girlfriend. He also got me in trouble with the police. He almost got me kicked out of college. Oh, Did you know Natalie Laurie and Ray Church were murdered? Oh, no, no. I, I don't know what. My guys told me the police were looking for me, so I decided to stay at home. That's problematic. Where were you on Tuesday night between 10 p.m. and 12.30? I was studying for classes at home. We ask that you stay in touch and don't leave the city. If you remember anything else, call this number. Detective, I've managed to locate fingerprints on Lucas Delgado's library card. They match the fingerprints on the club's emblem. So it could have been Lucas in the park that day, not Ray. There's also no one to confirm his alibi. Let's suppose he saw Ray murdering Natalie. He could have easily gone and killed Ray because of the girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Besides, he didn't even ask how they died. The situation with Ray would make sense, but why wasn't he curious about Natalie? Didn't she used to mean a lot to him? Let's have another chat with our skateboarder. We've been looking for you, Lucas. You lied to us. You can tell us on the way to the station while you were in the park Tuesday night at the time of the murder. Okay, let's get our evidence now. Let's go. Now, Lucas, why would you lie? Come on. Okay, fine. I'll tell you everything. Yes, I was in the park that night. I was returning home from class. But when I saw some dude carrying a, a girl on his shoulder, I nearly peed my pants. <laughs> I turned oh. around and and ran. I mean, what if what if it was some psycho? And you didn't think to call the police? After that, you know, the guy said the cops were looking for me. Yeah, I decided to play safe and lay low. I don't I don't need any more problems. Well, he kind of sound like he Mexican. He don't really look. The voice isn't matching with the face. I'm sorry. Do you remember what time it happened? Can you describe the man? Not really. It was around 10.30 p.m. I didn't get a good look at his face, but the man seemed quite tall and buff. You should have contacted the police. The man you saw killed Natalie Lurie. It was her dead body he was carrying. Your statement could have saved Ray's life. Got nothing to say? Mm. You realize your behavior is suspicious, right? If you don't have anything to hide, we suggest you voluntarily let us take a sample of your DNA. Sure, sure. 
I'll do the test, detectives. I just got really scared, I'm sorry. Eddie called, a man who looks like Lee was found at the ferry terminal, not far from the old bridge. He trying to make a getaway? On a little ferry? No magical adventure here. Trying to get away on a ferry. Okay, let's see. Oh, they will dagger on me. This is like that. Hmm. Oh, here we Top notch as usual. Let's see what we've got. Shang, we have Lee's DNA for analysis. Wait, since when do you let suspects into your inner sanctum? You know, please. Let me finish my conversation with Lucas. So, where did you buy them? The server racks? Yeah, I ordered them online. Yeah, I'll drop your link later. Just do not buy the other ones, okay? I'm not user-friendly at all. So I even got my hands scary in them. Lucas, you're free to go until we get the DNA results. Make sure you sign the undertaking not to leave the city and the pass for the desk sign. Okay, sure. Goodbye. Smart kid. If he's not a murderer, I wouldn't mind having him work for us. I did the samples of sex bags. Now we just have to wait for the test results. Okay. What's this? Uh. Hold on now. Oh, we got a song. Should we go for an answer? Hold on. We got some. Uh, I 
his DNA, his apartment, and, and detained him. This was also at the crime scene, something he tried to hide. He had reasons to dislike Ray, but he volunteered to let us take his DNA. Arrest the suspect. So I just have to arrest who I think it is. The murderer owns a cat. The murderer wears size 11 and cowboy boots. Hmm. How tall is he? Douglas, we have evidence proving you murdered Natalie Laurie and Ray Church. Your DNA was found on the metal rod Ray was killed with, and on Natalie's dress. We also found your boot tracks in the same place Ray was murdered. It might be in your best interest to confess. You have two murders on your conscience. I didn't kill Natalie! She killed herself! It's all Ray's fault! He came up with that stupid insurance scheme! Mm -hmm. Dude fell. Natalie's contract was expiring, meaning her one million dollar insurance policy was too. She and Ray wanted her to stage an insurance event. I was supposed to mess up Natalie's face, call an ambulance, and testify she got assaulted by some psychopath. That's why Natalie stayed behind after the shoot. I gently hit her face with the brass knuckles Ray gave me, but she tripped and fell. By the time I was next to her, she was already dead. What the hell was I supposed to do? Maybe call the police? Really? And go to jail for fraud? Who would have believed me? I carried her to the park and staged the robbery. Then I went to Ray since I still desperately needed money. He said he put me behind bars and started a fight. You killed him. I didn't want to do it. I wasn't in control of myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 